I remember as a small child playing in the fields of my uncle's farm in Monaghan in Ireland. It was just a small holding and at that point I realised how difficult the farmer's life was. We've got this wonderful food industry. I mean, to this day, if you, if you follow the food train from growing the food to uh, processing it to restaurants to shops, there are as many people still in agriculture and food as there ever were. It's still the biggest industry. We just moved where, where in the chain they, 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 they actually work. And the value is still there, except most of it ends up with supermarkets rather than people growing the food or preparing it. So I, mean, I actually think this is a breadbasket of Scotland. We can make lots of jobs here, and we can make uh, we can make jobs which are which are high paying if we do it properly. Do you know what I would like to see? I would like to see back on the high street, fishmongers, butchers, greengrocers. Yeah, grocers. local shops. Yeah, local local shops. shops. Little small shops. Because mm. supermarkets, in, in my opinion, have completely destroyed the local industries. The other thing to do would be to shift the buying power back, for instance, to the farmers. You could, if, if, in the old days when you had the milk marketing board, which is actually quite efficient, if the farmers had their own kind of cooperative buying agency that gives them the marketing power against supermarkets. We've, we've donated from the SNP quite a chunk of money and quite a chunk of food into the, the food bank. Um, we want, very, very we want a society where we don't, don't require food, food banks. You shouldn't require a food bank exactly. in, a country, in, a, in a county that grows Scotland's food. That's yeah. obscene. East Lothian Council is run by a Tory Labour coalition. When I'm elected MP for East Lothian, I will oppose cuts by that Tory Labour administration and I'll oppose cuts by the Tories and Labour Party in London. Trinent is Scotland's oldest mining community. I know that I worked as an advisor to the Scottish Union of Mine Workers after the great strike of the 1980s, helping to save mining jobs in East Lothian. The reason I'm voting the SNP is to have a fairer Scotland. We don't have a fairer Scotland at the moment. Well, well part, of, part of our campaign uh, for, for the Westminster election is to oppose fracking, period. Yeah, yeah it's an important issue down in Dunbar, it's an important issue in, in East Lothian. A lot, a lot of people have to go to Edinburgh to get jobs. It's, um, it's very much commuter town because there's not enough industry endports here to support. The reason that I would consider going for jobs in Canada is simply this. For the first time in 30 years, I can welcome to the great metropolis of East London a man of supreme, of supreme intellectual competence comparable to John McIntosh. A man with the same open heart that John McIntosh had. You, you no longer vote Labour, you vote SNP. That's right, that's right. Um, Why is that? Well, I didn't leave Labour, I left me. You. Exactly, same, uh, exactly, same for me. I did the exact, exactly, exactly the same exactly, for me. Right. And I'll tell you what it's more. The Labour Party has lost its soul. Yes. It's lost its moral compass. Yes. Now, if anybody ever asked me why I was a socialist, I couldn't claim I was a socialist on some profound philosophical reason. My reason for being a socialist were the simple Christian values yes. I had inherited from my parents. Yes. You know, things like decency, compassion, humanity, trying to do the best for everybody all the time. Exactly. The SNP have essentially revived yeah. all the old socialist traditions. Yes, yes, yes. yes.